Welcome back. For the past two weeks, Jan has been bringing you a story about a museum in Pittsburgh with a display devoted to the history of racing in western Pennsylvania. Here's more. Well, I'm in the auto racing section of the Heinz History Center. I'm with Don Gamble of Rappin' on Racing, and we're at the centerpiece of this center. This is Juan Montoya's car that he used when he won the Indy 500 in 2000. Don, what can you tell us about this display? Well, let's start with a little bit about the Brickyard itself. This book is local drivers that raced at Daytona, and it, it's not part of Indy, but what I'm leading up to, the Brickyard, it opened up in 1911. Ray Haroon was the first winner, and there's 3.2 million bricks when it was first built. Now it's just the yard of bricks, and it's, it's all paved with asphalt, and at the end of the race, the winner will kiss the bricks. Montoya won in 2000 driving for Chip Ganassi, and Chip was nice enough to donate this car to the display. Early on, a lot of the cars which evolved into Indy cars raced on board tracks, but uh, the, the Brickyard, it's, it's a legendary place to go. They've also involved some of the NASCAR races there when they run the Brickyard 400, and some of the folks in that book have had a chance to compete there. Chip, a local uh, Pittsburgher, and I find it interesting how he got involved in racing. When he was eight years old, his father was in the paving business, and he did a job for a customer. The customer didn't have enough money, and he gave Floyd, Chip's uh, father, a go-kart. And here we are many, many years later, one of the most wow. successful men in motorsports, not only Indy, but NASCAR. He's won at both. He's won the Daytona 500, he's won the Indy 500, multiple wins in both divisions, and just a big part of the display here. Then, as you go down here, in this portion here, is the 10 Pittsburgh Racing Association trophies that Herb Scott's family donated. And that's significant. 10 years in a row, he was the champion. To the left of the car over there are some very special trophies from Blackie Watt, some of his big races. And Blackie, uh, one time we had a Richard Petty at number one Cochran for a uh, autograph session, and Richard remembered racing against Blackie Watt uh, at one of the NASCAR tracks because Blackie crossed the line. He won one of the uh, preliminary races with the car sideways, and Richard said to him, you're that Yankee that crossed the line sideways. So a lot of racing history here, but the centerpiece, as you mentioned, Chip Ganassi's 2000 winning Indy 500 car. Don, we want to thank you very much for joining us today and giving us this wonderful tour of these displays that you had such a big hand in setting up. Well, it was a pleasure being with you today. My passion for racing has been around for a long time, and when they asked me to get involved here, I thought it would be just an excellent way to help the regular person coming in to the museum understand motorsports. Thank you. You've done so much for the auto racing history of Pennsylvania. Thank you for having me. We would like to thank Don Gamble of Rapid on Racing for taking us on this tour, and Ann Madras for her time and for allowing us to show off a portion of the John Hines History Center. Although we showed you much of what's on display, you really have to be there in person to get a better appreciation for it. And we highly recommend if you're in Pittsburgh, stop by the John Hines Museum. Yes, we do recommend that. It's very exciting. I loved the place, really. Okay, now up next, we will go back to Bedford Speedway from Friday night for some more highlights. When a brain injury or serious illness impacts your life, we're here to help you get it back. With our dedicated team of specialists, personalized treatment plans, the most inventive technologies, and a coordinated approach to recovery, this is more than just rehabilitation. This is a higher level of care.